sewing for beginners what you need to know. That's coming up. Hello fashion sewers and welcome to FSB TV. I'm Colleen Ajili and I have a special section to my channel which is fashion sewing conversations. I have eight points that I want to share with you if you're thinking of going on this journey and it is a journey. So the first one is going to be your sewing machine. Now there are lots of different sewing machines that are out there. So many different brands, so many different mechanical-isms, is that a word? To uh, a sewing machine, whether it's computerized, whether it's a vintage sewing machine, whether it can only do a flat, straight stitch sewing machine, sewing machine, there's so many out there. My advice to you would be to start with a beginner sewing machine. And I know for most of us, including including England as well, that it's so hard to find stores and shops that um, are particularly just for purchasing sewing machines. Um, I know some fabric shops do do that now, and it's difficult. Online is possibly um, the best bet for most of us because there isn't that many fabric shops anywhere in the world actually I believe but to make it easier a lot of companies are starting with a range of beginner sewing machines and that's poss possibly the uh, starting point is to start with those sewing machines. My advice would be if you're not still sure is just go for a sewing machine that can sew forward and backwards and also has the capability of doing buttonholes. So um, start with those three points and that probably would help you in the process of choosing a sewing machine. What I will do is I'll put in the description some recommended sewing machines for beginners that you can purchase online. Um, but if you can get yourself to a store or a shop, I recommend doing so because you can have lots of fun. So your sewing machine is going to be your best friend, your buddy. It's going to be there with the highs, it's going to be there with your lows. So make that choice wisely. But saying that, remember, you can always upgrade later. Always have that in the back of your mind. But just get started on a sewing machine. Number two. Now I want you, as a beginner, on this journey to choose five, five projects. Now those projects can be sewing patterns that you can either buy or you can even download them for free. That choice is up to you. But if you're on this journey and you're thinking that I'll just buy a pattern, um, get some fabric and I'm starting my journey to fashion sewing. Mm, no, not really. Um, would I recommend it if that's the way you want to start and you know you're going to be on this journey, then okay. But if you need a bit more of a push in order to help you on the journey, then I'm recommending getting five sewing projects. Because remember, you have FSB TV community in which to come back to whenever you get stuck on any one of your projects and just watch my videos or even communicate with the community in order to get some help and advice. Number three. Now, I know we can get a little bit ambitious when we are choosing patterns, especially as a beginner. Now, I would recommend that you start with projects that take about a metre or a yard of fabric. You know, it's, it's a starting point and we always struggle as a beginner of thinking you want to make this, you want to make that because it looks so pretty. Yeah, you'll get there eventually, but you've got a lot of skills to learn before you get there. So I would say choose pattern patterns that only take a metre, maybe a little bit more, a metre and a half of fabric in order to help you get started. And number four, the sewing pattern. Now it can be complicated to understand all the instructions and symbols that you find on sewing patterns. 
um, start with the instruction sheet. Um, I know the making up process can be difficult for um, people to read and also make up as they are reading through the instructions. Over the years I've had so many questions of people pointing me to a certain particular brand um, of sewing patterns and also the code and one particular area on the instructions that they're stuck with. It's, it can be challenging but um, just push your way through it. If you find it a little bit challenging but you think you can figure it out, go for it. You won't know unless you try. So um, that would be a little bit of a tip for when it comes to reading instructions. If you're not getting it, but you think you can suss out the situation, just give it a try. That's the best thing you can do. So with sewing patterns, it comes with information on the back of the envelope that you definitely should read through. It also comes with the instructions and also the pattern pieces themselves. And that involves a lot of cutting out, um, depending on the type of pattern that you have um, but have fun make sure you're cutting out the right size and um, that can also be a little bit challenging and daunting for beginner sewers to kind of figure out you know why they have certain pieces and what they do um, but it will get there it definitely will get there the next thing is the fabric cutting stage now you need to get this right it doesn't matter how beautifully sewn this project is, you need to be on grain. And what that is, and I've done a video tutorial on how to put your pattern pieces on grain, and I recommend you to watch that, because if you don't put your projects on the grain and you're happy with the end result because it looks amazing, but when you put it on your body, it's kind of not, hanging right and you kind of have to figure out where you went wrong yeah usually the grains so check on your grains so have fun cutting out those tissues or even pdf patterns and have fun cutting out your fabrics those processes can be challenging in themselves but do make sure you have fun because that's what it's all about so number five should be a gifted project yeah one of your five patterns should be a pattern, a project that you want to make for a family member, um, a special friend. It just ups the antic a little bit to make sure that you do your best. Not only, oh, that will do because I'm only making it for me. No one will see because it's for me. No, this is going to be your challenge. I love this particular challenge because it just kind of makes you think a little bit more because you want to impress so you're going to make sure that those scenes are a little perhaps a little bit neater than what they would be if you're making it for yourself so definitely one of your five patterns should be a gift to a friend or family member and also one of your five sewing patterns should be your dream pattern you know the pattern that you definitely want to make up that's within your skill set. Remember, don't go too wild on this um, because you probably have to do several more patterns before you come up with that. You know, the, the one that you want, that four gown, yeah, that one. Not quite yet, if you're a beginner, no. I will really stay on this journey, most definitely. But there's no harm in buying it and putting it as part of your pattern stash. Yeah, that'll be another video. I'll tell you about stashes in another video. That's fabric stash and pattern stash. Anyway, yeah. Number six. You're a beginner. Choose simple patterns. Choose patterns that are simple design styles. If you want your project to look complicated, then go for a more interesting fabric. But also remember there are fabrics that beginners are going to find challenging. Or if you're that type of person that you want to impress, then I would recommend choosing a pattern that is simple, straightforward, but if you want that wow factor, then I would choose a much more interesting fabric just to keep you motivated and inspired. Number seven. 
you got to tissue fit. You learn so much from tissue fitting. It's, it's, a, it's a process that not everyone goes through. I don't know why. It's, you, you've got to give it a go. Even if you don't do it on a regular basis, give tissue fitting a go. It, you'd be amazed by how much you learn. And remember, you are in the process of learning. So um, it would be a, at least one of your projects should be a tissue fit. At least one. And also, when you're making up your projects, fit halfway through making it up, fit your pattern, fit your garment to make sure it's doing what you are expecting it to do, making sure that it hangs well and to help keep you inspired to continue to finish your project so it doesn't become one of those that you kind of like, oh, I think I'll do my next pattern because this isn't working out. And possibly it would work out if you only fitted halfway through the making up process. And number eight, give yourself deadlines to work to. It helps, full stop. It really does help. Whatever that deadline is for you, give yourself a deadline in which to work through all your five sewing projects. Well, I hope this video will help you as a beginner to start that journey of making your own clothes. You can even start with refashioning as one of your projects or maybe even all your projects. I'll leave that up to you. But what I want from you is to put any comments or queries in the comment box because I love to read all the comments that you have um, or questions you want to ask me, just put all of those in the comment box. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. There's lots of awesome video tutorials. And also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Do share it with your friends. Hit that bell if you want to be notified when I upload a video. And I will see you next time.